What do you have to say about Osfa Football Academy? Yeah, this is me, Coach Olale Ruwale Michael, the president and also the founder of Osfa Football Academy, which is two means of uh, Oluwashegun Football Academy, based in Lafia, though it started in uh, Lagos, Nigeria, at Jebu Lake, Land of Plenty. And uh, now I have to shift it down to the north because we know that there are many talents that are there, so Osfa is just to fix them out, nurture them, and bring them to a higher level of football. Yeah. What is uh, the football academy mission and vision? Yeah, our spa mission number one is to make sure that we have future staffs that will represent our country in the future and in the junior and the level and also the senior cadets and definitely to give them a life in the future and also the mission and our vision is just to make sure that most of them secure a club and give them a better life so that we move them out from the streets. So that's what I have for the youth in our spa academy. What about the football tournament that we have that the academy will be playing in Europe, Amsterdam, Holland, next year? Yeah, definitely. That's another big task ahead of us. So we are really working day in, day out, always in the field, trying to be physically fit, get the boys psychologically, mentally and emotionally fit, and also to put them in good shape because the tournament is our G Cup in Amsterdam, that's the hosting country, and also in Rotterdam, that's the second venue, which will be comprised of 774 teams and we will break in 32 then from there we have the best team, the whole group the best age and the best score so we can have the first, second and third. So Osma is really preparing hard because it's a tournament that we really want to go there and you know shake the whole Amsterdam and also to have the better vision for the scouts that will be had there so that they will know that Osma has something to offer. Yeah. What do you have to say about the football generally in Nassau State and in Nigeria at large? Nassau is blessed, sincerely speaking, because this is my fifth year now in the state and I've seen a lot. The Dark and Queen's Corner of all up here. The state, the local government, the development area, they have blessed talent. They all what they need is just a privilege and opportunity. And also something that will make them grow if they can just forget about the sentiment of uh, tribalism or your color, your race, or your religion or where you come from because we must speak one language. So there are many talents in Nasarawa. They just need exposure and privilege. That's what I'll say about that. And recently, Nigeria played football, a uh, uh, play a game against Guinea, and uh, they had a 2 2 draw. What do you have to say about the draw, and what do you think is the reason why Nigeria uh, made those draw, and what is the way forward for uh, Nigeria? Sincerely speaking, Nigerian football is down. But we should take back to during the days of when football was football in this country, you know. We have a lot of blessed talent. But these days, football is all about sentiment in Nigeria, even in the national team, you see. The players there, they don't give their coach some sincerity and the other crew. No respect because they have money better than them. And this play, these are people that also played in the country when football was football. Let's take it back to Tunisia 94. We know what the players did, even before going to walk up. Nigeria are the best because number one, the coach working like them is a non-sentimental coach, which is Western or Clemens Western of a good coach that came from Dutch. Up to date is in Nigeria. Why is he progressing? Because you know there are many youth in Nigeria that can go far. Why we play draw to me, sincerely speaking, as a coach and as a manager, we weren't prepared for the game. Over sentiment, the time also, we didn't train, we didn't prepare when Guinea, they've already planned their strategy to come here and come and pick a draw. And they know that definitely if they cannot pick a draw, they will beat Nigeria. So for me to see my country not going to the Nations Cup, it's a shame, also it's a good challenge, because it will make the youth also in the junior cadets and also the old basics to work hard. For them to know, to know that the boys don't know I can play, but rather prove it. That's just what I have to say. And I want them to sit down and sit up so that definitely such a thing will not happen in the next Nations Cup that I'll be preparing for. There's a big blow because Nigeria will not be there. And it's very bad and it's very sad to the whole general population. That's what I have to say.